Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here on the Freedom Farm. I hope your day is going wonderfully. Today's episode... Oh, no, let's... Thank you. Okay, come on. Come on, Nisa. Don't you be running off before... Oh, I need to feed you. Sorry. So today's episode, first we're going to feed our pets. Sorry about that. Next up, we have... A wheat harvest to do, and I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. It's not actually that hard. I'm sure you can figure it out on your own, but we're going to do that anyway. And then we have a bazaar. And then this Sunday, we're going to see if we can't trigger a random event that happens between Sherry and her father. Hopefully we can, because I'm pretty sure you can't do it after Sherry marries you, and I don't know if you can do it after you propose... And it's, it's one that you can only do on the weekend, so that's a little difficult to trigger. Oh, we're probably also getting the hoe to five stars today. But I'm not really going to be able to show it off on anything. Why do you come here? Is the outside world that boring, or... Oh, we got Amiko up to Purple Heart! I don't know what time I can trigger her Purple Heart event, though. For me, I'm hesitant to open it. Hey, nice, thanks. And because of my testing on this file, I know that uh, that is enough that Sherry will now marry us. So if we gave her the blue feather today, then she would agree. But there are a couple things I want to do first. Before we go any further, I would like to remind you to do that whole YouTube algorithm stuff everybody's always bragging about. The like in, the subscribe in, and uh, let me know what kind of tea you drink on a daily basis. Or if you don't drink tea at all and you prefer coffee. Or if you don't drink caffeine at all. Just let me know. It really does help me out and uh, it helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently. So please do not forget to do that. Now let's go and harvest the wheat first, I think. I will show you how it's done. You just need a sickle. Unfortunately, you cannot upgrade your sickle in this game. So, just one sickle swing, one row, or one square. Pretty sure. Yep. Don't think you can charge it up. Nope. Good to know my memory about this is good. I mean, you don't want to be growing a whole lot of wheat anyway, but it really is the only way to get flour. And uh, flour is used for a lot of good stuff. Like, for example, if you want to give gifts on Spring Harmony Day, or Winter Harmony Day if you're playing as Gretel, then you kind of need some wheat. Well, you only need wheat on days when that Spring Harmony or Winter Harmony Day falls on... Uh, a Thursday, but... Still good to have. Okay. What are you doing? Get back in there. What? Just for the record, that sheep left before I touched it. It was outside before I had laid a finger on it. Before red hair, rather, had laid a finger on it. So it wasn't because, oh yeah, I pushed it outside. No, 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 it wandered outside on its own. And that's what happened to that other sheep. The one that, uh, um... The one that was outside... When this, there was a storm. Because it, it had left the night before, and it woke up outside. Is, that's what happened. Only can can only do ten at a time. So I think we're just gonna do thirty. Obviously, we don't need them until next spring. One thousand four hundred thirty-nine hours. I think I might have needed to do them in smaller patches. My hubris. Although that's actually enough. Yeah. So it's gonna take um six days each. Times ten. So that's sixty days for the wheat to be done. And so. Even if we only get one win days from now until the end of time, 
they will be done probably around the 16th of winter. Oh, that's a hurricane, isn't it? Yes, indeedy do it is. Well, good news. I get to tell you about hurricanes in Grand Bazaar. In previous games in the Harvest Moon series, you uh, could not leave your house during a hurricane. That is not the case in Grand Bazaar. You can leave your house, you can, you know, talk to people, all this kind of stuff. Other people will not leave their houses. So we'll be able to visit Cherry at her home today, for example. Um, I think the cafe will still be open, actually, in case anyone decides to leave, which they never do. Also, your crops can't be damaged by hurricanes like in, like in previous Harvest Moon games, so... It's really just all upside. I mean, the wind pushes you a little bit, but that's fine. We're gonna do these in batches of... What, three, actually? Because it is a hurricane. So this stuff should get processed pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. That's also going to increase the speed at which uh, some of our other stuff gets processed. Ooh, we should get that hoe started again. ASAP. So normally it would take 15 hours, but now it only takes five. And uh, our wheat seeds are gonna be done sooner, and yeah, just a lot of... That's another effect of a hurricane, is that it increases the speed at which the windmills produce goods. It takes about a third of the time to, uh, um, for windmills to produce goods in a hurricane as it does in clear weather. Well, not in clear weather, in, uh, in one wind days. Let's get the uh, watering can started at, in here, actually. What do you mean, not enough ingredients? Oh, I don't have any material stone. Actually, wait. No, but I don't have a hammer on me. Dang it. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get that. We will still get that tonight. We'll still get the watering can tonight. This is really the only purpose that, ro that rocks serve, so... And material stone sells for more than than rocks anyway, so might as well from the start. All right, so the watering can will be done about 9:30. All right? Yep. For me, I'm hesitant to open it. Hey, nice, thanks. And by the way, this town really feels like my home these days. I hope you feel the same way. Ray. So when he says that in his house to you, that you know that that means he's ready to let you marry Sherry. Oh, Ray. Hello. Hello there, eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. Is that some soup that I don't have? Corn soup. Okay. I'm gonna buy two of those for now, and then I'm gonna give one to Nelly. I hope it's Nelly's birthday. Ooh. We are running pretty low on funds. But anyway, we're gonna have some nice corn soup. Have a nice sip of our tea while the storm rages outside. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you. Just a reminder that if you are watching this on the day it is uploaded, I will be streaming on the streaming channel from about 2 to 4 Pacific. And a link to the stream will be down in the description below. And I hope to see you there. Okay, and then we're going to go and give Nelly... Some corn soup. She see if she likes it, and if she does, get some more from Zephyr Cafe. Or we could probably make it ourselves, frankly. And if Zephyr Cafe is closed by the time we get back there, then we're going to have to. I'm pretty sure Zephyr Cafe is open until seven. So, I really like this. Thanks. So uh, I guess she really likes it. The power of the bookshelf, ladies and gentlemen. That is more herb salad, yeah. Okay, just making sure. Thank you. I hope you like it. I hope Nelly likes it. So obviously I can't demonstrate it today, but now that our watering can is one and a half stars, it can water a three by one area. So we're going to be able to water half of our field in a single sweep. 
which is nice. Alright, so as you can see, we can water three squares. No more, no less. And, uh, well, actually, I'll show you. Would help if I actually filled up the watering can first, though. I'll also show you what we can do while jumping. So, you see, three squares, right? And then three squares, but a different way. Isn't that nice? Now, I don't think there's ever a point where jumping with the watering can is the right choice. I mean, technically you water more squares, but it's just in such a weird pattern every time that you're really just better off doing this. But yes, as you can see, we can water our field much faster now. And isn't that nice? The waters were restless yesterday. And that's what Amiko says after a storm. We're tea! Yarn! Tomatoes! Greetings! I just have to help people out wherever I go. Therefore, I insist that I help you in any way I can. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Now then, attention everyone! This stand is the finest at the bazaar! <laughs> How is that? I mean, you could have just said that this stand sells really good produce. And also coins, and also yarn, and also animal products, and also tea. That would have been very simple for you to say, right? Hey, you there, could you give me this milk? Sure. Oh, thank you, I'm actually a secret critic. Just kidding, I just like getting stuff for free. Thanks! Listen, if you help me win reputation, I'm fine with that. Oh, sorry to bother you. Do you know where the carpenter is located? It's on the right side. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. It's like right next to me, man. Come on. Just look to your right and you will see it. A lot of people would say, see that kid buying corn and say, oh yeah, good for him. He likes his vegetables. But corn is not a vegetable. Stop treating it like a vegetable. Stop feeding kids corn and saying, yeah, this is a vegetable for... No. Yo, Ray, how are things going? Cool. Welcome to my shop. <laughs> what a cool greeting. Not. But I guarantee you'll get a lot of customers with that cheesy greeting. Man, Jerk, you are a jerk. Is that, wh is that why your name rhymes with jerk? Is because you are a jerk? The heat is pretty bad. We're pretty close to winning, and we still got a, a ways to go. You're making it worse. What did you say? <laughs> Fine, I'm out of here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to know. Good work, Ray. Summer Bazaar really is the most exciting. The sunshine is so nice. It's a little too... <laughs> I'm sorry. The sunshine is so nice. Exactly! It's a little hot, but that just fires you up! Oh, I could- I- I would enjoy some heat right now. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there, sir. <laughs> if we lose reputation because of that... Um... You know what? I'll be okay with it. Hmm, do I have enough for this egg? How about for half price? You can have it for free. Guess not. I'm... I'm pretty sure he likes getting stuff free. What? That's awesome! You're awesome! Thanks a punch! Oh boy. Hello, I'm member- <laughs> Hello, I'm member number 317,315 Amerian's fan club. You know, th what a coincidence! I'm member 371,315. Isn't that amazing? Anyway. I came to see Marion, but I can't find her anywhere. Do you know where she is? Go up, you'll find her. Really? Thank you! Marion! I'm coming for you! I love you so much! I'll be right there! <laughs> you have a lot of things on sale. Do you like running a stall at the bazaar? Yeah, it's fun. I see. You really work hard at everything you do. I don't hate that about you. <laughs> but I'm sure she doesn't appreciate me. 
<laughs> being a little too forward with her. So I'm going to put out this silky egg and I'm going to mention something real quick. In other ranch store games, you can buy an incubator for your, uh, for your eggs and you can hatch chickens. And if that were the case, I could, and if that were the case in Grand Vizor, I could, you know, put that silky egg in an incubator and get silky chickens, uh, uh, two months early. Unfortunately, there is no such thing in Grand Bazaar. So you, you can't... The only way to get animals is through Enrique's shop. Wish I'm an airplane! Stop, that's dangerous. Wow, that looks fun. Knock it off. Oh, my mom tells me that all the time, too. I'm sorry. Hey there, we're the famous comedy duo Lucy and Ricky. Thank you for inviting us to perform here today. Where's Lucy? What? Lucy's not here. Where did she go? I can't do this by myself. Come back here, Lucy. You got some splaining to do. Here, could you tell me what the laughing fall is? Crappy install, go left. My full flacker. Ah, that's better. My false teeth fell out. No wonder no one could understand me. Come on, somebody buy eggs. Thank you. Did not meet the goal. Still might get third, though. Yep. Let's go ahead and check what Felix is selling real quick. Okay. I don't think I want any of that. Um, yeah, we'll stop here. Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune read? It's just 100G. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? You should avoid any sort of competition today. Didn't you tell me that last week? Okay, whatever. Got something wrapped. Welcome to Lucky Lotto. Care to play? One ticket is 300G. Okay. Let's do five of these. <laughs> First one, not a winner. Hey, nice. Nice! Ooh, straight T is a very nice one to win. Another first place prize and another ticket! Oh my gosh, nice. I don't think that's enough to pay for all of our tickets. But we'll see what we get for this last one. Hey, fourth place prize. A two star branch, right? Yes, two star branch. I'm so happy. It's, it's, it's everything I always wanted. Oh, hello. Welcome to my food stand. Already have a scone recipe, already have carpaccio recipe. Don't have a seaweed stew recipe. Uh, okay, we'll try it. Thanks, I'll turn the recipe for you too. I'm so glad that I got to learn the recipe for seaweed stew. Oh, I see. Well, stop by any time you're hungry. We're also gonna pick up some more calcum. I think we only need four more to max out the um, watering can, and we don't really have anything else to spend it on. So we're just gonna grab the oracal. We don't really have anything to spend our money on, so we're just gonna grab the oracalcum that we need, and that'll be good. We technically could have expanded our uh, um, our bazaar stall yes uh, today. But that would lead us, leave us a little short on spending money for this week. That was a terrible storm yesterday. Welcome to my cafe. We don't have potato pancakes. Ooh. An onion salad. We gotta make sure not to give this one to Sherry. I don't know if she likes onion salad or not, but I do know that she likes herb salad. We'll have some nice potato pancakes with our tea today. Mmm, delicious. Thank you, John. Oh, and Isaac's Info Center, of course. Hello there. Welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Well, this is just a rumor, really. 
Everyone in town loves the river. Have you ever tossed trash into the river? When you do that, everyone will become angry with you. So be careful, okay? I mean, I've accidentally threw fish back into the river. I hope that doesn't count. Let's see if we can't uh, sell this tea. Tea! Our chances are very low, considering the time, but... Eh, who knows? Maybe. Ah, she wants some tea. How much? Ah, both of them. Cool. Well... <laughs> That might put us over the edge for uh, um, getting third, by the way, is selling that tea. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners! In third place with 75,970G! See, I told you. Third place. Ray, congratulations! In second place with 82,000 G. Jones Store, congratulations. And in first place with 96,000 G. Lloyd Store, congratulations. Good job, Lloyd. I'm taking credit for that though, because I bought so much of that Oracalcum. And the person with the happiest customers was... Ray! Customers say that they can tell you really care about your job! <laughs> Is that what Antoinette said? You've all done the town proud! Keep up the good work! Hmm? You're in the top three and you have the best reputation! Fantastic! I'm awarding you this prize for your efforts! A summer tea leaves! You know I grow these on my farm, right? A goal to be the best bazaar on the continent is now closer than ever! Let's work together to get this done! And our goal for the next bazaar is 80,000 to 100,000 G! We can do it! Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar! We may or may not reach the goal. Yeah, I grow higher quality summer tea leaves on my farm. Okay, just saying. Nine star or five star nine star radishes five star radishes. How about that? It's a one win day and we've got three rounds of wheat seeds going so we're actually going to want to get these started ASAP And here we go Yeah There's a piece of wool, an onion, a cauliflower, a turnip, a fish, an apple, and another onion. What is he trying to make? What the? This turnip is too hard to cut! Ha! But it's not going to beat me! I've got this cookbook to tell me what to do! You're going down, turnip! Ha ha ha! Okay, time to read. Ah, I see. Boil hard vegetables to soften them up. That's easy. Or you could actually have a sharp knife. And it's not that hard to cut through stuff with a sharp knife. I mean, as long as you're not actually just trying to, you know, chop through it. Like, like cleaver style. All right, now I just need some meat. Here we go. What the? Ow! Hot, hot, hot! Now you can see why Sherry was worried about not being able to marry. Father, what are you doing? Oh, Sherry. I was a uh, cooking. Are you burned? What do you think you 
were doing. Well, I... I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry. Look at this mess. You're so bad at these things and you know it. I still want to help out around here. You have more than enough to do as the mayor. Besides, every time you try to help, you just make a big mess. When you wash clothes, they come out dirtier than when you started. How? And when you try to cook, you just burn pots and yourself. No more helping. Out of the kitchen. Out. Out! But... You're right. I'm sorry. I'll stay out of the kitchen, Cherry. Oh. You gotta feel bad for Felix. He just wants to help. He's not very good at it. At anything. Maybe I was a little too harsh. I just don't want him to getting hurt. I'm sorry, father. I kind of know how he feels in, in some respects, because, you know, the feeling of trying to help and you're just, you're very much not helping. I think people that, uh, um, that can't say that they know how he feels are just oblivious. To that because we've all had that experience at some point in our life where we tr were trying to help but we end up making things worse and I know some people who I won't name who do that a lot and don't realize that they do that and so they would say oh no I don't have that I've never had that experience you have you just haven't realized it. And... Yeah. They continue to make things worse because they are oblivious to the harm that they do. Go. Oh, what's this? Another random event. One that I wasn't expecting. startled me. You shouldn't sneak up on an old man like that. Um, how was I sneaking up on you? Hmm? You weren't trying to sneak up on me? Sorry about that. I suppose that I was lost in thought. What was I thinking about? I was um, wondering what to eat for lunch. I am... Um, I should go get something to eat. Ray, do you think you could stay here for a little bit? Thanks. I'll be back soon. Hi there. How can I help you? Hmm? Stuart was acting strange? Oh my, I see. You don't need to worry. It happens sometimes. He's just lonely still. to have a son. He's an adult now, and he left a while ago. Since he left, Stuart has tried to hide how lonely and sad he's felt. But our son doesn't visit very often. Stuart really misses him terribly sometimes. Call your parents. They love you. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate to be such a gloomy cuss. Anyway, now that Daisy is here, Stuart is a lot happier most of the time. And I am too. She really is like a granddaughter to both of us. Hey, thanks, Ray. I'm all I'm all set now. What? Was that Stuart? I'm pretty sure I'm like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's gotta be Stuart, but it's... Welcome back. Oh. Oh, what were you two talking about? You weren't talking about me while I was gone, were you? <laughs> Maybe we were? I'm back now. 
Hello, Daisy. Oh, I screwed up Ethel's voice. Let me try again. Hello, Daisy. Welcome back. Hi, everybody. Grandpa, look. I ran into Angelo and he gave me this. It's a Mont Blanc, your favorite. And that's how I know that Stuart likes Mont Blancs, by the way. Oh, wow. For me. Of course. I brought it back just for you. Oh, thanks, Daisy. I hope you're planning to share, Stuart. Oh. oh no. I lost my earring somewhere. I think I know where. I'm gonna go look. You'll be careful now, okay? I will be back soon. That is... Such a wholesome random event. I love it. What are you up to, Ray? I think I, it counts as me talking to them. Hi there, Ray. Good to see you. Or maybe not. Anyway. Wholesomeness off the charts. I love it. Hi there. Working hard, Ray? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. And you're working hard on your birthday, isn't it? <laughs> it's so pretty. I like red wrapping pa paper, but Marion likes yellow. <laughs> For my birthday? You're great, Ray. Hey, Daisy. You like my horse? <laughs> Everyone in town is so nice. You want to pet my horse? That'd be nice too, right? Uh, I don't know if that counts as my horse eating because I left the screen before it actually ate. Oh, Ray. Hello. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. What do you got on the menu today? That looks like something I haven't tried before. Apparently I have. But some green tea. Yeah, sure. Good to be drinking in the afternoon. I am drinking my green tea now. I have uh, some Irish breakfast tea in the morning and jasmine green tea in the afternoon. And works very well, so if you'll excuse me. Mmm. Delicious. Well, that was um, an interesting experience recording this episode. I might tell you about it, but anyway, that's, that's going to be it for today. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later. Bye.